We'll spend a couple of minutes talking about back runs. There's annoying little blossoms that just pop up out of nowhere. They, they can ruin a painting very quickly. We've all had to deal with them. I, I still deal with them myself. But I found a way to minimize the risk of getting a back run, and that's by using a blotter like this. It's just toilet tissue with paper towel wrapped around it. To give you an example of how to avoid one, I'm going to take a little bit of color and put it on this piece of paper. Now, this is 140 pound Fabriano. It's cold press. Let's put a little bit of color on this. For example, we're putting in some violet. And let's just imagine this is a piece we've worked on as a painting. And we've got this nice underpainting of whatever it is, a sky or whatever. Doesn't really matter in this case. And the, when I put that color on there, it actually saturated the paper. That paint has a lot of water in it. That water is getting into the paper. So the paper has a nice uh, damp surface. It also has dampness inside the paper. The longer that water sits in that paper, the more it soaks in. Eventually, it's going to just saturate the interior of that piece of paper. So if we're working on a painting, and say we put in a pretty sky, in this case, I've got a purple. Maybe it's a purple sky. And we look at it and say, OK, I think I'm going to put a cloud on that now. Let's put a, let's put a pretty pink cloud on top of that. If I put a, a really wet brush on this, it's going to run away. It's going to get very, very uh, out, of, out of control almost. It just runs away as a big blossom, or what they call a back run. Because what's happening is the surface of the paper may look dry, but there's still water inside. So if I put a real wet brush on there like this, I'm going to take some uh, magenta. I've got a very, very wet mix of magenta. There's a lot of water on that. I want to put a cloud right here as so I put that on there. And you see instantly how it almost, the, the color got very diffused and it's just starting to bleed and run away. I really lost any attempt to put a cloud at this point because the paper is way too wet for this wet paint. So when you have paper like this, which is a uh, semi wet and you want to put something on it, I can still use the same magenta, only this time I'm using less water in the paint and I have less water in my brush. And just to make sure that I haven't got too much water in the brush, I'm taking this blotter and I'm hitting the edge of the brush on that just for a second to take all that excess water out of that brush. Now I can put the magenta on here. I've got a nice clean application of color and it's not going to run away with me. So I can go in there and do whatever I want. It's, it's still going to get a pretty soft edge because the paper is still a little bit damp. But I have control over it. So I can go in there and paint whatever I want now and have total control of the shape without, without it running away. These little back runs like this will ruin more paintings than anything else, and it can be controlled. It can be controlled so easily by just using a blotter. In this case, it's a toilet tissue with paper towel wrapped around it. So when you're working on wet shapes and you got wet paper and you want to put more color on top of it, just remember mix the color up a little bit thicker with less water in it, and just to play it safe, hit that brush and that blotter a couple times to make sure you're getting all the excess water out of that brush, and then you're safe to go and put the color on. It's a friendly little tip that can save you a lot of headaches.